Hi all, today we are going to do two math questions. They are suitable for age B9 to 11. So uh, let's look at the first question for today. If Sean has $39.60, he can buy 180 pencils. However, with the money he actually has, he can only buy 50 pencils. How much money does Sean have? So do you have any idea how to solve these questions? Alright, let's break it down step by step. We know that for 180 pencils, it will cost us $39.60. So let's find out how much is one pencil over here. Alright, I'm going to do my working on the right hand side. You might want to fast forward it or you might want to pause the video to uh, do your working. So usually for me, since it's a decimal, I'll prefer to remove the decimal point and do it as a whole number. You might want to check out our division and multiplication for decimal in our other videos. So 2 multiplied by 180 is 360. So 3 minus 3, 0, 9 minus 6, 3, 6 minus 0, 6, let's bring down the 0, okay, so we'll need another 2, multiply by 180, which would give us 360, so it's 22. Since we have uh, brought forward two decimal point, we will have to bring backwards two decimal point. Therefore, thirty nine point six zero divided by one hundred eighty gives us zero point two two, which is also in this question it will be twenty two cents. So one pencil is twenty two cents. Now we got to find out. How much is 50 pencils? Which is also how much money Sean has. Okay, so 50 multiplied by 0 0.22. Okay, like earlier. Instead of 0 0.22, I'll use 22. 2 multiplied by 0 equals to 0. 2 multiplied by 5 equals to 10. 2 multiplied by 0 is 0, 2 multiplied by 5 equals 10. Alrighty, so 11, 0, 0. Okay, since we brought forward 2 decimal point here, we will have to bring backwards 2 decimal point. So this gives us 11 dollars. So Sean has 11 dollars. Alright, then let's go to the next question. Frank has retired with some savings. He has three daughters and two sons. If he give his saving to his daughters only, each daughter will receive $18,600. How much will each child receive if Frank distributes his saving equally among his children? Okay, so one daughter will receive $18,600. However, we need to find out how much is Frank saving. Alright, so if three daughters, each of them receive $18,600, we'll be able to find out Frank's saving in total. So let's use $18,600 multiply by 3. 3 multiplied by 0, 0, 3 multiplied by 0, 0, 3 multiplied by 6, 18, 3 multiplied by 8, 24, 24 plus 1, 25, 3 multiplied by 1, 3, 3 plus 2, 5. So Frank's saving is $55,800. So now we know Frank has a total saving of fifty-five thousand eight hundred dollars. 
we'll need to find out how much would each of his child receive if he decided to distribute them equally. So Frank have a um, five ch children. So we'll need to use $55,800 divided by five. Okay. 55,800 divided by 5. So 1 multiplied by 5, 5. So 1 multiplied by 5 because another 5. Let's bring down the 8. 1 multiplied by 5, it was 5 again, 8 minus 5, 3, and let's bring down the 0 here. So 1 multiplied by 5 gives us 30, 6, 6 multiplied by 5 gives us 30, and we are left with one more 0 at the back. So. 0 multiplied by 5 gives us 0. Alright. So each child will receive $11,160 if Frank were to distribute his saving equally among his children. Okay, that's all for today. And uh, do feel free to contact us if you have any question related to mathematics and science we'll get back to you and probably record a video to explain the question thank you and have a good day